Hello friends, this is Brent and thank you for tuning into the channel. If you are new, please like and subscribe so you can be notified and don't forget to leave a comment down below as I'd love to hear from you. Let's dive right in. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Brent, AKA Ask for Brent, your favorite Lexus car sales professional. And today we're gonna do a recap or more of a review of the all new 2023 Lexus RZ 450E. I know I'm a little late to the party, but just in case you're waiting to hear from me, I decided I wanted to go ahead and release this video with some of my thoughts and then to see what you guys think about the overall uh, vehicle and everything else like that. So with that, let's go ahead and dive right in. Meet the all new Lexus RZ, the luxury brand's first battery electric vehicle. This is a big deal for Lexus. You're gonna see a whole lot of this uh, over the next coming weeks, months, until they release it. They're looking like towards the end of 2022. I dare say a December to remember, as Lexus loves to uh, come out with the red bows. Can't you see a red bow right on top of there? Um, but over here is the article. This is a very nice article. At the bottom of it is gonna be the YouTube video uh, for the introduction of the RZ. This is the Lexus newsroom in case you're looking for that. But at the same time, there's gonna be a link to the YouTube video from Lexus directly in the description below. But let's go ahead and dive right in. The all new RZ brings a unique Lexus driving experience based on the Lexus electrified vision. So what they mean by that is um, any hybrid electric vehicle, plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, or now this new battery electric vehicle is a part of Lexus's electrified vision meaning they really want to kind of drive home the acceleration that you still have while driving a Lexus, even though it's an electrified state. I can't wait to really experience what it is with the RZ. Um, one of the things that's in the article here, if you uh, choose to read it, which is very ambitious of Lexus, by 2030, they plan on having an all battery electric vehicle lineup. And by 2035, they plan on having 100% battery electric vehicle sales, meaning no more gas models. Now I, a proud owner of the IS350, gotta wonder where I fit in with that crowd because I enjoy my vehicle, but at the same time, I know we're moving to a more globally uh, carbon neutral footprint uh, when it comes to cars. So that's gonna be something exciting to see. So the next part here is using an all new wheel drive system called Direct4, RZ offers drivers a refined human centered driving experience. So the Lexus driving signature that they're talking about is uh, all of the new Lexus models are being moved to a new chassis system. It was gonna have like a, a kind of a wider wheelbase, a lower engine position, in this case, uh, a motor position uh, to, to maintain like a lower center of gravity. You're going to feel as if you're driving an IS, LX, RZ, doesn't matter the car should drive in a very similar fashion, giving you a signature Lexus driving experience. Now this Direct 4 is a new all-wheel drive system that Lexus is coming out with, and they're saying it's gonna even enhance that Lexus driving signature even more, which I, for one, am a huge fan of the current one, so I'd imagine, I just imagine that this new heightened level is gonna be something spectacular, and again, can't wait to try it for myself. All right, and then up next we have a design pursuing a uniquely Lexus battery electric vehicle identity and proportions. What does this mean? Well, you guys know that Lexus is known for having these big spindle grills. Uh, cue the B-roll of any Lexus that I have <laughs> right now. I'm just going to pull it out of my videos. But they have these big spindle grills, allows for all that massive airflow. But with a battery electric vehicle, as you know, due to the lack of an engine, you don't need that. And you can have this smooth front and make the vehicle more aerodynamic uh, to increase and enhance the range of the vehicle. So uh, Lexus has decided that instead of having a spindle grill, they're gonna have a spindle body design. And just to give you an idea of uh, what they mean by this, just to show you some images here, I'll go ahead and go to full screen, this front. So it's all smooth, it's not that air ventilated grill like it used to be and they wanted to kind of create a spindle body design. So here's a, a shot from the back. And this is something that I personally truly love, this split spoiler here, just to kind of increase that little aerodynamic nature of the vehicle even further. This is gonna be a beautiful car. Can't wait to see this on the road. 
And last but not least, uh, one of the big pushes that Lexus has throughout their vehicles and it has been this way for years is this Omatanashi feature, which is a very human centered approach. Meaning if you're the driver, everything that you should be able to have access to is going to be very easy for you to access. And what I mean by that, let me show you a couple of pictures here. Here's a driver, as you can see, and the infotainment system is facing him more than it's just central for even this person in the passenger seat if they were to try to help, which you still be able to use it from the passenger seat, but it's really to make you feel like you're in a cockpit. You, the driver, are gonna be in a cockpit, right? And just to give you a kind of a different angle on that, it's angled at you right here, right? Everything is within arm's reach. And this is a little dark here, but typically, and I'm sure this vehicle will be the same, um, like the glove compartment, you'll actually have the button to open it very close to this inside of the like cabin space over here for the passenger. So you, the driver, can just reach over and open it up. Another feature that Lexus is doing is they wanna make sure that the feeling of the car is like very spacious and kind of airy as you can see these big nice big windows all the way around almost makes you feel like you're not really in a vehicle but you're kind of you know a part of nature which is a is a very beautiful thing and i think that's going to be awesome and then you'll be like my friend here just smiles for days and here goes that yoke steering wheel again uh looks like lexus i've been seeing some videos and some reports They've done a really good job improving upon uh, what some other manufacturers have started in reference to the yoke steering wheel to really kind of give you a much better uh, driving dynamic. And so I think that's going to be pretty interesting. I still want to hear from you guys in the comments below. So that's going to start wrapping it up. Like always, please um, like, subscribe so you can be notified. But one last thing I want to kind of touch on real quick is the specs. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom here because this is what's important. Up to 225 mile range. Yes, you see that correctly. Up to a 225 mile range. This is a US manufacturer estimate for the cruise range. The sizes here, based on everything that I could tell, this is gonna be very similar to the uh, Lexus RX. So if you like the size of the RX, the RZ is gonna be very similar, maybe a little bit shorter, but for all intents and purposes is going to be a very similar size and you can look forward to that and again the lexus youtube video is on the lexus newsroom in this article at the bottom however what i'm going to do is i'm going to share this link in the description below so you can actually just scroll down you can take a look at it then and with that, hey, glad to talk to you guys about the Lexus RZ 450E. Are you guys getting excited? I really wanna hear from you. I think it's gonna be an amazing vehicle. In any case, if you disagree, please leave a comment below. Love to hear from you. When you come down to Coliseum Lexus of Oakland, let them know who you're with. Ask for Brent, and we'll see you next time.